What's up, YouTube? Today I'm finna react to the 2024 Tesla Cybertruck review. This is just plain cool. The video title: 39 burger long video. Um, and honestly, the real reason I'm doing this, I'm actually looking for a new car. I'm actually in the car market right now. Um, and electricity isn't really my thing i would like to hear my engine <laughs> you know what i'm saying but uh i mean maybe this video will uh you know maybe it will um overturn my thinking into electricity vehicles but uh further ado let's get into this ish is the Tesla Cybertruck and it's the most talked about most anticipated uh -huh. most hyped car so far this decade it looks absolutely insane it has insane performance looks kind of ugly it though I'm not gonna lie. a company run by an insane person there is nothing else like this on the planet and today i'm going to the driving the trapezoid holy show shit you all of its quirks and features I mean, it has a lot of cool features out here, which, I mean, a few, I literally, a car's, dude. Okay, I'm just going to say, the car's features literally makes or breaks a car. You know what I'm saying? If there's no subs in the motherfucker, there's no GP or car play, that hurts. If there's no asshole warmer or ass cooler. They have like a fan that blows air up your ass. Like a hot summer day, your 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 ass will stink if if you don't have that. So uh, just features like that, you know what I'm saying? But let's continue on. This car podcast is now live. The first Dude, I don't give a fuck. News, car market trends and take viewer questions all in a tight hour every week. So be sure to check out this car podcast with new episodes coming every Friday. All right, time for the quirks and features of the Tesla Cybertruck. I am so excited for this that I'm going to skip all the fuck up. Most people already know about this truck and dive right into the quirks and features. I'm just saying the features, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Ridiculous design of this truck. It's all I'm actually in the car angles, market. Sharp angles at everywhere. Hold on, I miss. It's all about thing with the absolutely ridiculous design of this truck. It's all It is kind of ridiculous, angles, bro. Sharp angles at everywhere you look there are no curves on this truck it's all intended to be angular and sharp and futuristic and totally different from everything else on the road <laughs> yeah it's different as hell but i'm not gonna lie dude thing on the outside is the it's more different than the new hummer dude the arches are angular as you can see just like the rest of the truck in fact the angle what about the wheels though you might as well have fucking square wheels places where you can <laughs> yourself on it you can see right here that's a pretty sharp angle looks uh, kind of scary if you walk too close same deal on the front you, you gotta put tape around the corners of the motherfucker like if you walk too close it might uh, actually draw blood the cyber truck is just that brutal now the other interesting thing about the cyber truck's design is its material because the cyber truck is almost entirely made of unpainted stainless steel this is totally different than the painted sheet metal unpainted. you see in basically every other vehicle it gives it a totally different appearance and it wears a little bit differently in fact i kind of like that color though it's like chrome on the but it's not chrome it's just stainless truck. steel it's like a driving fridge <laughs> it's like a driving fridge <laughs> regardless it is totally different just like the way this truck looks at first glance when you look at the cyber truck it seems like it's just one giant silver model what's wrong with this dude's camera though exterior design without Make sure I get this in from the oh Intel's uh, Codex R14 PC, featuring their newest Intel Core uh, i5-14400 processor, 32 shield, and the kind of problematic everywhere you look, there are no curves on this, just like the rest of the truck. In fact, just trying to, I just, I hate stupid ass technology, bro. I'm just trying to see if my shit's in H fucking. Damn. Know what I'm saying, bro? Clear 
clearly cut yourself on it. You can see right here, that's a pretty sharp angle. It looks kind of scary if you doodle. Yeah, now, the other interesting thing about the Cybertruck's design is its material, because the Cybertruck... Here we get the driving fridge. Early Cybertruck owners to wrap their trucks in a different color or just to protect the body panels. Regardless, it is totally different. Just like what color wrap would y'all get, bro? Now, on any whip, what's your favorite color? I've seen purple. Seems like it's just like uh, the Saints are all purple. It's kind of sick. The totally minimalist exterior <clears throat> design without any adornments to break up the. So he's a speak English, bro. Holy shit! But as you like, start I'm just I'm just out of high school, dude. Like, let's not use the big the words. Little things peppered throughout the exterior peppered. that do break up the monolithic shape, but only if you notice them. We'll start with the most obvious the rear view dude what's wrong with this camera dude angled design from the rest of the truck They're he's blurring out instead of well, anything else because they mimic the look of the truck itself and next you move on to the windshield where you can see <laughs> the mono wiper the giant windshield holy fuck the very side of the windshield as you can see look how big this that motherfucker is and it is a massive holy shit the tesla the reason for putting it here along the side of the that bitch is like eight feet tall ain't no fucking way bro the wiper horizontally it the bitch don't fly off aerodynamics of the truck and so mounting it here the two or one bro airflow over the truck and it lets tesla hide the wiper a little bit better so when you look at the truck you don't see it you just see one giant flat plane of glass Next up, mm. in terms of hidden exterior adornments, uh, let's talk. Dude, you need to speak fucking no English, bro. I'm gonna get fucking pissed. On this truck, but the fuck are you, you saying? Closely, you can see it says Foundation Series right here on the front fender. You gotta look very closely because it's kind of silver on silver, but it is in there on the early Foundation Series trucks like this one. You also foundation. have Foundation Series printed on the tailgate. Wait, wait, wait what is right Foundation here, Series? Anywhere on this truck, but. If you look closely, you can see it says Foundation Series right here on the front fender. You what is look it? Very closely because it's kind of silver on silver, but it is in there on the early Foundation Series trucks like this one. You also have Foundation Series printed. Did the Tigers the win? See it right here, but again, you hey, I don't know what that is. Closely, you wouldn't Foundation Series. Otherwise. MLB okay. opening day today. Tesla Tigers got the dub, one and zero, bro. Best team in the league so far. Tesla branding on this truck. Then again, dude, the Giants are gonna be uh, nasty, if dude. You see this truck, you Wait, know the two and one. Next, we're talking. I need no baseball stuff. started, so bro. Let's talk wheels. How do you design wheels for a monolith? <laughs> the answer is, well, these weren't the wheels that the Cybertruck was shown with. In fact, they're not the wheels the Cybertruck has. Those are some ugly ass wheels. Because the Cybertruck. Now, I'm, I shouldn't say ugly. With wheel they're bitch wheels. wheels that look weird Those look kind of kind of more manly a little bit. The problem is the wheel covers didn't actually work. Tesla uh, them out and they would I look like those better my life. Those ones are ugly as shit. And so Tesla has recalled the wheel covers and apparently there will be a future different design. That means Even Ford Giatos on my shit. The Cybertruck <laughs> wheels with no cover. Frankly, I don't really love how they look. They're That's only wheel brand enough, I know. But they're kind of generic Rim. to sit on such a special crazy looking body. Those wheel covers really did add to the air of mis wake up webmaster you're online with hostinger oh. into our h web host ultimate control over your host okay mystique this truck had and these wheels i don't think really look that great but it's what the cyber truck has and next up on the subject of exterior features you might not notice is mlb the show out the front wheel arch you can see right here there's a little cutout for the blind spot camera put on the turn signal a blind spot camera turns on in the center screen i'll show you that later but the camera is mounted right here and i love the fact that oh, the little a camera for it is triangular to match the truck again no sir does that really match the truck now, though like what if there's no cut out there or just right a little circular Panel, one. Would that not to be cut match out. the truck? That's that big of a difference? Uh, I probably wouldn't even notice the motherfucker. What about the wheels? Those are fucking still circular. Quite well, 
but it's there. And when the panel's open, you can see a cool profile image of the Cybertruck lit up inside. Is that the, the oval or fucking triangle? Next up, another interesting exterior item with the Cybertruck is lighting. How do you put lights so different, dude. on a monolith? Well, up what front, the answer seems pretty obvious. There's a light bar going across the front end. But that's kind of sick, though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Lights, and there's a hidden set of lights. It's like a fucking the spaceship. The Look at that shit. Look at that fucking spaceship, bro. Light bar, and that lower hidden set is where the turn signals are located, as you can see. In the rear, the lighting is even more unusual, let's say. It comes from this giant bar going across the rear of the truck. And in North okay, that's kind of... The lights are normal, but that's small. kind of shitty, I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, the they should have... Of the rear of the truck as right see, here, and like and a little trim of red. Signals, just something... The third brake light is in the center. There should be something here. A little small concern this is... The front, but it works perfectly. The weird part or at least what happens when you all the way across the lights up so the to match the front or something like that you know, just that across the whole rear of the truck but that, that low key looks outdated light bar turns off and my opinion traditional brake light setup but like i said no one has the brain i have when the tail lights are on and you put on the brake <laughs> less light actually comes on <laughs> shit man when you weren't braking it's certainly an odd design one that i have never seen before but fitting a rather odd vehicle now, also worth pointing out in back, another hidden exterior adornment you wouldn't notice unless you're looking is this camera you can see mounted Wait, right in the on. middle of the rear. This is not a backup camera, but your rear view mirror. That is how it works in the Cybertruck. Let's talk about that. So why does the Cybertruck need a camera for a rear view mirror? Well, the answer is obvious. You can see it right here. There's no rear window. Actually, that's not Oh true. shit. This is a tonneau cover that covers up the bed of this truck. So if you have Imagine to use that bitch to work, bro. Or damaged or stolen, you can cover up the bed with this cover. If it's you just very, cover off, I think the whole thing's cool. Back here, push a button. And then it automatically slides itself back. It's actually quite neat and nifty and quick. You gotta be able to unlock that though. There's no design. way you, like a random guy. Oh, that's sick, dude. That's the feature I'm talking about. Something cool like that, bro. Throw a bed back there. Hit the button. A little remote control, bro. Okay, I gotta change these lights. So. about 10% of range when you drive. So I suspect most owners will close the tonneau cover most of the time to maximize their range unless they're actually using the bed with larger items. Of course, if you want to close the tonneau cover, that's no problem. You just... I'm not gonna lie. I'd be the guy to put a fucking gas tank in my Tesla closed. shit. Very easy, very simple to do and now your bed is secure once again it's really a pretty cool feature now in addition to the tonneau cover situation back here you do have one other button mounted the back of the cyber truck and that is the tailgate opener button you push that and then the tailgate automatically opens itself that's pretty straightforward oh, which one push that and then the tailgate nice bro that's holy crap forward. it gives you access to the bed where there's a lot of cool features so let's start features bro that's what i was telling you guys earlier features there's this little panel here you open it up and it's a series of outlets you have house oh. heavy okay cool washing machine and run it from your cyber truck now the other interesting thing in the bed of the Cybertruck is... It's just probably like a generator in the whole car. The bed floor <laughs> Portable generator? And you have a trunk Might as well go buy one. You can store, well, whatever you would normally store in a trunk. It's not as big as a traditional trunk in a sedan, but it's decent size where you can put stuff if you don't want to keep it in the bed, rolling around or whatever. You have this extra space. Okay. And there's even a... Oh, it's actually pretty big, though. This space. So I think it's this right here. This extra trunk for, like, That's pretty big, dude. Lines. You could do that. <laughs> Speaking of my Just car is strong. The end, and all the water will go out. Now, one of the drawbacks of this now, situation is the tailgate is I have to do a car review on my car. 
which means that when it pulls I have a maid's back. Long, <laughs> and so it's pretty hard to reach past it to access this bed trunk or the rest of the bed. And sadly, Tesla didn't give us a bed step situation like you have in basically every other full step size bed, bed huh? where you can pull something out and then step right into your bed to access it. It's pretty hard actually to access the bed because of the tailgate and of course the height of the truck. Now, That's kind of crazy. You know, a little step yeah, something. Other stuff in the bed like one like, like a little like downs like you would expect to a see top right there little... pickup trucks frankly one cool feature is you have bed lighting as you can see lights on both sides that actually That's illuminate cool. what's in the bed more pickup trucks could use this Dude, feature like, why does it go out of full screen it and it's pretty nice then i'll show you how to operate oh, it from fuck. in a little bit by the way one other interesting item back here the tailgate it is not power operated to go back up so you do have to lift it into place but it does have soft close which means you don't have to slam it you can just kind of get it near where it latches and then it will automatically close itself which is a nice touch and finally the last hidden adornment on the outside of this truck adornment the door handles doesn't look like there are any doors. yeah i didn't even notice well the front one is mounted here on the b pillar at the base and it's actually pretty simple you just push the door handle and then the door kind of pops out a couple of inches for you to grab and open up oh i'm beating ass bro no way we get fingerprints all over that stainless steel color bro you ever see your refrigerator it's not quite as insane in here as it is out oh there. hell no bro i hate fingerprints too bro it would be hard to replicate that in the like you have to wear gloves in my car that's how fucking that's how anal i am bro you ain't wearing gloves bro you can't come in my whip truck let's start with well, the general minimalism vibe in here, just like other Tesla models, you don't have all sorts of swoopy trim everywhere and buttons all over everything. Instead, very minimalist, very few buttons and switches basically anywhere in this interior. Again, like other Tesla models, so it's not that radical, but it is radical. Another ad, bro, visible. Nothing to hide. Seriously. Okay, 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 okay. okay. contracts, not our thing. Great wireless on just one line. Radical compared to other vehicles, just how minimalist and basic and simple it is in this interior. And the other interesting thing is that the angular theme has been carried over to the interior, not just outside. For example, the steering wheel is not, in fact, a wheel. You can see it's more of like a collapsed hexagon there is no real curving to it and it's all pretty angular and certainly unique compared to other vehicles now i'll cover more unorthodox uh, things in this interior in a second but huh I want to talk how do you feel about that how do you guys feel about that uh that steering wheel though most interesting things about the cyber truck that's because it uses i have to stand up steer by wire which sounds very Kind of boring and mechanical high tech but the interesting part is you barely turn the steering wheel to turn the truck so in your car you turn the wheel like hand over hand three times and then you're all the way locked in one direction right in the cyber truck it's only half a turn and the entire steering is as far over as it goes half a turn the other direction the steering is as far as it oh, wow goes. totally unorthodox compared to other vehicles we'll see how i like it when i get behind the wheel of the cyber truck in i like it bro because i'd be clear. i'd be like really like it really works with circling that motherfucker steering wheel there was a lot of complaints about going hand over hand turning a yoke well, you don't have that complaint if you don't ever have to go hand over hand because of the mm. way the steering is set up. And that's the case in this truck. It solves that problem with a similar steering wheel to the yoke. Also worth pointing out, the Cybertruck has rear wheel steering in addition to front wheel, which dramatically improves the maneuverability of this. Holy truck. shit, dude. The back wheels turn now, bro? You can drive backwards? And it helps. But oh, interior fuck. Weird angled stuff. The cup holders are not circular as you can see they are that's every down. car though even though your cups are circular oh actually in the cyber truck, your cup i was talking about these triangles over the uh, panel, and you uh, see a bunch of different angles on basically uh, every surface there is no attempt to smooth anything out with a curve in fact there really is basically nothing round anywhere in this interior even the dog in dog mode in the infotainment system you can see He's like an angular pixelated dog instead of a oh, you got a dog now. circular curved dog, which just adds to the cyber oh. hilarity 
and I really like it. The only thing I really found in here that is circular, the thumb controls on the steering wheel. You can see these are, well, traditional circles and wheel dials that turn like a circle. That's because Tesla borrows these from other Tesla models to put in the Cybertruck, and I guess they decided they didn't want to make specific hexagon-shaped steering controls just dude, for imagine, dude. expensive. So those okay, at that point, you're being anal. Pointing out the couple are just pretty icon, anal, dude. On the cameras on the steering wheel, that is a hexagon. And same deal on the infotainment screen. So they just wanted to make it look futuristic, huh? Put some Might as well made the Spotify like logo a fucking triangle. Cool to see. Most people probably wouldn't notice. Now, beyond I didn't even know all that, bro. It's all hexagons and... Interior. Once again, straight edge shapes. Outside, there's no Tesla logo. It's kind of cool, it's different. This truck. On the steering wheel, you have that profile image of the truck, sort of the Cybertruck triangle. And on the holy door, shit, Cybertruck written in the cool Cybertruck font that Tesla's used in some marketing. But again, you won't find Tesla logos. Why would they do that? Just like on the Th there's no way, there's no way they had a fucking kindergartner. Right, cyber truck. I can't even read the motherfucker. Like, dude, that, that's a cool font. This dude just says it's cool font. The cool cyber truck font that Tesla's used in some marketing. But again, you won't find motherfucker anywhere in here. What? On the outside, it is very unorthodox, just like the windshield. So let's Unbelievable, dude. Next. The windshield in this truck, in order to make the shape, it's ruined the truck. It goes basically all. It's supposed to be. I was about to buy this car, but after that, I'm not looking at that every time I get in the car. Fuck that. Windshield that looks like this, and it creates actually some issues. One is cleaning the windshield. I don't know how you're gonna get in this area to clean the bottom inside of the windshield. Listen, bro, my third leg can reach that. It looks like hell for detailers. Good luck. The other long windshield we've seen it in other cars is the A pillar becomes very large to support the windshield. That blocks your visibility. Now, to Tesla's credit, they put so you have windows a... inside the A pillar to make it a little easier so to a... down. So you have a blind spot in the front now. The problem. You can That's crazy. There's a lot That's very different, bro. Blocked by this large A pillar going pretty far into your line of sight, and I have a suspicion it's going to cause some cyber truck pedestrian issues. Because you won't be able to see everything that's there. Next up, also on the subject of the windshield, the sun visors are very interesting. Because the windshield is so massive, it almost goes over directly where you're sitting. The visors are not mounted on the ceiling, but instead they're stuck to this plastic panel that comes out for the sensors for this truck. That in itself is unusual, but the strangest part is when you put down the sun visors to cover up the sun on the windshield, they actually reveal more windshield. <laughs> you block some part of the windshield, but you yeah. What the hell is this? The windshield. It is very unusual. The good news is there is extra sun visor that comes down from the visor in the form of an extra panel to block out even more sun if you like. Now, also worth pointing out. Okay, that was very pointless. Turn on the hazard lights. It's worth mentioning the hazard lights being a separate button is a regulatory thing. You can't put the hazard light button in the screen. And so that's why all these cars with minimalist interiors and giant screens still have the hazard light button separate as you do here. There's probably irked Tesla. They wanted to make it as minimal. I don't mind that feature. But they still had to do a button for the hazard light. Because I mean, I'm not a lie, bro. If I hop in a different car, sometimes I will need the hazard and I have no idea where the mother yard is, bro. And I find out it's underneath the steering wheel. I'm like, bro. What the fuck? How was I ever supposed to find out, bro? An amazing effort. So I gotta keep flipping the, the, the uh, blinker left and right. The door panel, you can see Stupid. this button here. You press to electronically open the door. It kind of pops it open, and then you open it the rest of the way. This latch is a manual backup in case the electronic door popper fails. And then you also have your window switches here. The owner of this truck told me that the switches are mounted pretty far back, and they're kind of in an uncomfortable place to reach, which is a little annoying. But worth pointing out speaking of the windows the front windows in this truck are crazy the design of them has this crazy kinked angle to fit with the angle of the truck it looks like no all right bro i'll be right back i've ever seen holy shit i just dropped a mother Fucking 
nuke, and I'm back. Let's get back into this. Where's my headsets? Next, we move on to the controls in this truck, starting with the steering wheel. There are no stalks coming off the steering column for your turn signals or your windshield wipers, like in most <coughs> vehicles. Instead, your turn signals are mounted on the steering wheel. You can see them here, arrow to the left, arrow to the right. You also have a button here. Oh, that's, that's stupid. Over on the other oh, side, that's stupid. I don't like it. As you can see, and you have your I don't like that feature here. You can activate from the steering wheel, and I don't like this that. button turns on the camera system, opens it up in the center screen, like I mentioned before. But no stocks on the steering column at all. So you're probably wondering, how do you shift this vehicle into gear? How do you put it in drive or reverse? And the answer is, it's your on iPhone. The screen. So let's talk imagine about you had to use a your phone. In the cyber truck. Shifting the into Tesla gear phone. over on the left side of the screen. Elon, create a phone, bro. Slide your finger in the direction where you want to travel. So you slide up, forward for drive. You slide back for reverse. And then park will turn on if you tap the center or if you just open your door. It's actually pretty intuitive. It works reasonably well, and you don't really think about how it's odd or unorthodox after just a little while using this. Trailer. I don't like the. But beyond the gear I like swipey situation, sticking other interesting items worth pointing out. And blinker like flicking the, the in thing. Will be pretty familiar to anybody who spent time in a recent Tesla. Unbelievable. Cyber truck has a very similar screen interface setup to other. Teslas, there's just a different font that's supposed to be more futuristic, and there's a few features that other Tesla models don't have. I'm going to cover the most interesting. So let's start with the main screen. You see a side image of the truck, and check this out. If you double tap the window on this image, well, take a look. Oh my what the f no way. Yes, that's right. No shot. Just like it did when Elon Musk first showed and demonstrated this truck. Oh, that's ill, ago. bro. Oh, that's ill. See that they've integrated that feature. Kind of a stupid little hidden Easter egg, but I'm all about the little No shot, shot, dude. Next up, here's an interesting item. You can open the glove box in the center screen. That's not different from other Teslas, but the glove box itself is. You open it and you can see it's actually a glove tray or a glove drawer Dude, what is this an airplane damn keep your stuff that you'd keep in a glove box when you want to close it just press the button on the screen again and it goes right back into where it belongs a standard glove box would be too normal can you trade stocks now, next up, on the so tesla screen in this screen this is where you find the damn dogecoin's at 22 cents for this truck like i mentioned in the tonneau cover is closed you can't see behind you so the rear view mirror is shown on the screen instead now worth pointing out the cyber truck actually does come with a rear view mirror that's regulatory but the owner of this truck told me he removed it it blocked his forward visibility and he didn't really plan on driving with the tonneau cover open and so he'd rather use the mirror inside the screen which makes sense and also worth pointing out you can move the rear view mirror on the screen to a more convenient place if that's what you want to do you can kind of choose where it is also worth pointing out another cool cyber truck feature in here you can oh, raise and lower the suspension all cyber truck models come with height adjustable suspension and you can see various different <laughs> options here from the entry you can turn your tesla to a donk and inside all the way up to the highest height which is for off-roading and you can see right now the truck is dude it's a donk height and Boy, did a cyber truck it donk from very low to very high that highest setting is something like holy cow of ground clearance to maximize i'll show you 17 of inches of ground clearance Beyond that the rest of this screen is mostly okay, do doge coin. and i did an in-depth look at the latest tesla infotainment system in my recent holy review fuck. of the new tesla model 3 so you can watch that for a little bit more details on this infotainment system but you do have the basics for instance you control <laughs> Control the mirrors using the screen and then also the little thumb dial on the steering wheel you can see it puts the mirrors up or down same deal with controlling mm. the position of the steering wheel you navigate over to steering and oh, my foot. Move the wheel up or down using the dials just like in other tesla models a very cool trick oh that's cool i've mentioned it in other reviews you also have dog mode like i mentioned where you can keep the interior cool if you want to briefly run into a store leave your dog in the car again all dog the usual mode. tesla fare in 
tremendous infotainment system. Now, with that said, one totally crazy piece of technology that this truck does not have is autopilot. Tesla's autopilot driver assist technology. Wait, autopilot in a car? And also steer for you. Ain't no fucking way a car driving like that. Hell no. It does have a cruise control that will slow Fuck down you mean, bro. Traffic, but you have to do your steering. And the truck also doesn't have Tesla's full self-driving system or it hit 20. differential locks to enhance its off-road capability. I mention all these things together because <laughs> Tesla says they're all going to be added to the Cybertruck with an over-the-air update. But they're not here now. So if you bought one of these, you've been driving it around for a few months already without any of these features that you probably expected, which is a little bit disappointing. There's liquidity now, up there. It's interesting, worth noting in the interior Something of the down screen, here. In the infotainment screen, you can open up the front trunk. Fuck, which everybody gets the fuck the out. Trunk. You just tap here where it says the open front. The front. And then you can see it pops open. No way. Up front, revealing so you use your iPad to control the card. So what is in the That's front low key trunk? ugly. Well, the is it's like nothing. nothing. Which is intentional because it's a storage compartment. It's basically a chair, dude. Put stuff. But there's a few interesting it's like nothing there. For one, cyber truck is written across ugly. The ugly. Feel. Fail. Ugly. As you can see, you also have a little tap over on the side where you can add windshield washer fluid. A fairly normal thing that you still have to do in this otherworldly truck and that's crazy you have a button where you can press and the front trunk will close and apparently the front trunk will close on you there's nothing preventing it from just closing on whatever you have in between the trunk and no the not the shirt oh to say don't stick your arm in there it will be cut off and Damn. Move on to the back seat and first getting in to the back wait. of the Cybertruck. Opening the rear no door, leather? The same as the front door. You got a panel over here to the side. You push it. The door pops open, reveals itself for you, and you can open it the rest of the way. Cool thing here is the back doors open 90 degrees. So they really open far, which allows you easier ingress and egress getting in and out of the truck. Now, once you're back here, a couple of interesting quirks, and the biggest is actually a surprise. There's decent space back here. Given the overall length of the truck, I assume there would be good leg room, knee room, hip room, that kind of stuff, and there is. But given the design of this truck, I thought headroom would be compromised, but it isn't. I'm pretty tall, and sitting back here, I can sit- Weird flex! Holy shit, he's tall, everyone! He's tall! Holy shit! I'm tall! My fucking bad! If I had your height, I would probably be in the NBA then. My fucking bad, though. My bad. Because I asked how tall you were. People, man. Which you can use to do a lot of different stuff. You have, for instance, music controls back here. You can use to adjust the audio in the car. You also have entertainment controls. You can turn on your... YouTube. We got... Or YouTube. And you have climate controls back here. I don't know what the other one is. The climate controls. The on button is an angled hexagon. Is that fart? The usual circle, which adds to the cyber... What is that? But beyond that, you can just adjust where the air comes out. The oh, it's where the air is coming. I thought it was fart so coming from the seat. Seats. I don't know what the hell. Hell? Rear screen. Now, beyond all that stuff, the rear of the Cybertruck isn't particularly interesting or exciting. The only other interesting item worth pointing out is you can lift up the base of the seats for more storage. There's sort of a hidden little tab you can pull back here. You pull it, and then the seat base rises up, and Whoa. you can use the back for storage instead of passenger seating if you don't have people, but instead you have stuff. A lot of other trucks have that, but it's nice to see it here. So those are your quick uh. features, and now on to the basics of the Cybertruck if you want to hear the general details. So right now there are two versions of the Cybertruck Cyber available. Base. There's sort of a regular one, the Cybertruck, and then there's the high-performance Cyber... How much is this ish, bro? This is the... Because this is expensive, you might as well buy the better one, right? Power. It does zero how many? In how many horsepower? And it starts around eight hour. It does zero How many horses? How many horses does it have? Six hundred horsepower. That's it. In three 
1.9 seconds, and it starts around $82,000. It also has about 340 miles of range. Now, if you upgrade to the Cyber Beast, you get about 830. Holy fuck. Hour. You do 0 to 60 in 2 point something seconds. God damn, that's it the fastest or quickest truck of all time you have a base price of around okay, I'm not, it's not a truck because it doesn't have an engine that's why it's not a truck i do not categorize this as a truck this is a electric car and a total range of about 300 miles, a little bit less than in the standard truck. Now, both of these versions of the Cybertruck can tow up to 11,000 pounds, which is a pretty strong number, although obviously that will significantly diminish range. It's a strong ass truck. A car. Both of these Cybertruck. versions are significantly more expensive than Tesla said they would be when these trucks were first announced back in 2019. Between twenty and $40,000 more expensive. I mean, it's low-key ugly. I'm, I can't lie. <laughs> like... Also one if I get this, it's because I have money, not because Tesla claims there is an this ugly ass car truck that is still coming out. It is a single motor rear wheel drive cyber truck that will only tow about 7,500 pounds and obviously have a lower base price compared to the four wheel drive, more high performance, more powerful versions. Tesla claims that's coming in 25, but we're all skeptical about Tesla's claims of time at this point now the cyber truck is built in Texas facts at tesla's giga factory near austin it's giga about 224 facts. inches long which is enormously long for a vehicle but pretty standard for a full-size how long is it long which is giga factory near austin it's about 224 inches long which is enormously long for a vehicle but pretty so standard 12 feet for a long pickup truck and it weighs about 6,900 pounds, which is fairly significant. God also, damn, it's a heavy motherfucker. Right now is only it's got to be a tax right off. North America. This hasn't been exported to Asia or Europe yet. And given some of its regulatory challenges in those markets, I have a strong suspicion it never will be. And it will always be confined to North America. A special treat we get here, the Tesla Cybertruck. And with that, let's get behind the wheel. All right, driving the Tesla Cybertruck. I have wanted to drive the Cybertruck ever since it was first revealed, as everyone did, back at the end of 2019. Now, in that time, they said it was mm. 21. Here we are. Three Wait, that Elon thing was 2019? Revealed, and it is finally out. Now, when they first revealed it, I said... I thought it was in, video or in like the 2020s. Team, I, said, I didn't think they'd be able to make the Cybertruck in production form actually look like that. And there have been some changes to the concept Cybertruck to get it production oh, ready. Shit. But to Tesla's credit, it's pretty close to how they said it was going to look. Or maybe to Tesla's detriment because it is heinously ugly. But ugly as fuck, dude. Plain cool. See, even this dude has one. He's so, admitting I'll ugly. I'll experience in a second. But I'll say this. I have been watching from the sidelines over the last year as people have talked about towing capacity and hauling capacity. Bro, but why are you going to work in a $100,000 truck, about though? Cyber truck. And... Frankly, I just unless you want to tow your yacht or fuck, what are you gonna? People are buying this to this be isn't a tow truck. That's the whole reason. Nobody cares if it tows or hauls. And frankly, that's also true of its competitors. The six guys in my neighborhoods with Ford Raptors, I've never seen them dirty. I've never seen them hooked on to anything to tow. Those are hundred thousand dollar trucks. Why would you ever want to work in them? You're gonna fuck it up. Elon was like, it's gonna be a Ford F one fifty. I cringe. I see a nice truck. I cringe. It's not a real truck. A truck is a beater. It's a it's work. It's hardworking fucking truck. Hardworking animal, bro. It's not a fucking. Oh, it's not fancy. It's not it's supposed to be pretty. Get that shit done hard. Fuck shit up. That's what that is. They take pictures. They're so excited. And I think a lot of the arguments about oh it can't tow, oh it's gonna run out of battery, are coming from Raptor owners who are just mad that something has up staged them in the pickup world this is this is not a pickup truck than any other truck and it's I think ugly as fuck though for a trx or 120 for um, a raptor r you would be upset give me that trx what, oh what's the raptor r you know, how many horses does that got what's better but it is 
it up stages raptor so cool. oh it's not cool though it's Let's ugly as fuck i'd rather have a pickup truck damn is steer by wire so raptor r huh really sexy or cool but it really has a profound effect on the driving experience and that's because oh shit seven honey horses so it's basically the TRX for and Ford. The full <laughs> turn. In a normal car, you can do a couple of around, around, around the wheel. Well, in this, the steering is directly connected to how far you turn the wheel, and it happens quick. And the driving experience is very interesting as a result. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I have to say, just driving this thing around now for like a half hour, I kind of prefer it to normal car driving. Why am I doing turn over, hand over hand, turn over turn? I don't really need to do that. This truck is a great is great proof. That it actually just works out okay in regular driving with the, the only time you gotta hand over it. The only time, time out. Shut the fuck up. Let me talk. The only time you have to do hand over hand turning is when you're parking. You gotta make a full fucking right angle, ninety degree turn. That's the only only reason. I personally never ever used the fucking. Maybe when you're turning left or right, but for the most part, hell no. It's like parking. Thing. I love this steer by wire. You just a simple turn. I would like it better good. too. There's no hand over hand, and it really neutralizes the drawback of the crazy. I use one hand. There's no such thing as hand over hand. Over hand turns. It's surprising. Who does hand over hand? Now, one dude. interesting thing about the Cybertruck is it actually steers pretty well. The steering, because of the steer by wire, and because Tesla just generally does a good job of this, you have quite direct steering. Holy so fuck, weird flex. It's pretty quick to make a turn uh, and go in that direction. Now, it's a huge vehicle. So it weighs almost 7,000 It's a nice microphone he has so right here. Ultimately, it's still going to be pretty heavy. It's not like it's going to handle incredibly well uh, around, like, bends and corners, you know, if you're taking it on mountain canyon roads. But it steers better than you'd expect, and it feels a little bit more limber and nimble than you might expect, particularly given that it also accelerates pretty well now, come on crash it do a crash test bro the truck it has only 600 horsepower that's fine zero to 60 and four seconds that's pretty fast only dude thousand pounds that's really all you need tesla has delivered quite a few of them i've seen probably this... a dozen just regularly driving here i don't ever Rio. use all my horsepower there's no need two or three in new york uh, they're not what's the point of going 180 to die you know that's what you fuckers gotta realize it's not about how fast you get there definitely the it's about if you get there safe or not. People just go absolutely nuts seeing them. The driving experience is probably the least Stupid interesting fucks. part about the truck. Aside from the very long windshield and the kind of problematic A pillars. This guy's boring. I'm not lie, bro. He's making me. You know, mirror is a camera thing. Other than that, driving is really not all that crazy. It looks crazy. It has some crazy features. Stop recording it, for some reason. You know, there's a lot of weird stuff about the truck. But from a driving perspective, just sitting here driving it, once you get used to steer by wire, it's a fairly traditional vehicle to, to own and operate and use, which I think is the point. You don't want people to have some steep learning curve of actually driving it. You want the kind of the styling and the design to speak for itself in terms of how crazy it is. Sleep, here. Yeah, <laughs> acceleration is just fine <laughs> with the... Uh, in the non-cyber beast. I'm sure it's amazing. Does so it make a noise? Like a... Doing 0 to 60 and 2 point whatever. It's really not special anymore. This truck is special for a lot of other reasons beyond its acceleration. In terms of size, I think that's something that a lot of people are going to are gonna be curious about. It's big. If you're in a city area, you may not want to be driving around in such a large vehicle all the time. You're going to be hauling around a large bed in back. You may not be using just for the... That's what I'm saying. I would hate... I'm not really sure that's the right move. But certainly the most interesting, most exciting... You're my little Porsche, bro. Come on. ...all the stuff I showed you before and not necessarily from driving it. Oh and I think that's God. a good thing. You don't have to... Even though you have to adapt in your mind to this crazy design, oh, you don't have to really make any concessions or adaptations to use the truck. You can use it reasonably well. You just have to get used to steering by wire, which, frankly, I think is great. And so, in the end... <laughs> I think this thing is just cool. It just is cool. It's just cool. Uh, and it's amazingly exciting to be driving around. Hmm, do I get it? Time. And the response on the road is Should clean cop the market has a cyber truck the demand for it. This is cool. People are interested. People are people think it's crazy. And mm.
And so that's the Tesla Cybertruck. Say what you will about this. It is cool. It is it's incredibly head turning, impressive to see. I mean, it's ugly, but its ugliness is different. This is one of the it's a different type of ugly. Ever to exist, and it's just plain cool, incredibly head turning. There is nothing else like it hmm. on the road. A crazy experience inside and out. And now it's time to give the Cybertruck a Doug score. No way. And the Doug score is okay, 73 out of 100, which places the Cybertruck here against various other similar vehicles and other Tesla models. The Cybertruck Hold on. against all of this is kind of sick, though. Such a high weekend score. It's immensely. I think it's bias. I think his ass is bias. You bias motherfucker. Where's the TRX on it? Damn, he ranked. Daily. Cool right now, an absolute showstopper. As the Cybertruck gets more common, though, and that cool factor falls, I suspect... How's it cool, though? It's ugly as fuck. Overall score. It's just a more well-rounded truck. A I mean, I guess it's cool, but the fucking... The way it looks... For now, though, styling a five. This dude's... F what the fuck? This dude's hard on his styling rating. God damn! Cyber truck is king. Acceleration. Hold on, I wanna. For, for now, though. Dude, what the fuck? Cyber truck is king. Bias. Now. Okay. I just I hate this shit, dude. No, I'm trying to think. Should clean cop a cyber truck? I'm in the car market. Low key, it's decent price. I just think it's ugly as fuck. Sure, it's cool. A lot of cool features, unique. It's different. You know, everyone's like, holy fuck, that's the only guy. That's the only motherfucker around here with a cyber truck. Don't want to be that type of guy. This dude never mentioned the bulletproofness it has. I'm just saying. Uh um my rating i think i'd rather have the raptor r trx I'm trying to compare prices it's like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar truck for the the truck the cyber beast i just i think i'd rather have a regular tesla plaid that's just me, bro. But uh, that will do it, man, for this ish.